fils Simon a eu un grave accident de la route. Mais je comprends rien. Là. Quand vous le voyez, tout vous semble normal. C'est uniquement grâce aux machines que vous avez vu dans sa chambre. Mais si on arrête ces machines, son cœur s'arrêtera aussi. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. One of the things that happens a lot with the Radio 5 live show I present with Simon Mayo is that there's a film I get very enthusiastic about it and I rave about it and then people get in touch and say, well, it's not playing in any cinemas near me. It may be streaming, but I can't see it. And I always promise that I'll flag it up when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray. Well, the home release of Heal the Living happens on Monday and this is a really terrific film which I absolutely loved and I want more people to see it because very few people saw it in cinemas. It's directed by Cattell Quilevere who made Love Like Poison and Suzanne and it is on one level a film about organ transplants. Now I know what you're thinking, I mean cinema has this sort of long relationship with organ transplants whether it's the horror of Hands of Orlac or the sort of secular spirituality of Jesus of Montreal or maybe films like 21 Grams or even Seven Pounds which I just talked about on the most recent blog or the science fiction of Never Let Me Go. This is very different because on the one hand it's very very realistic, on the other hand it's really adventurous and really existential. It begins with the story of a young man, a surfer, a very, very sort of enthusiastic lover of life who's involved in an accident and is in a coma. There is another story about somebody else, another character, who is in need of a heart transplant. And the film is about the way in which their lives are intertwined through the actions of an intermediary who tries to bring these two people together for the benefit of the living, to heal the living. And it's a film which is beautifully judged, beautifully played. What's interesting about it is it's never melodramatic. It has the most extraordinary medical scenes, so extraordinary in fact, that when I saw the film I was convinced that they were documentary footage, although the director said no they're not, it's, it's all special effects, which is something which actually chimes rather well with the film's central theme of life and death, reality and imagination, this world and the next, the way in which movies create a reality which seems completely real and tangible but is in fact imagined. The other thing about it is, is it's a film which deliberately stays away from melodrama, which deliberately stays away from, you know, exaggerating emotions and yet is unbelievably emotional. Everyone I've spoken to who's seen Heal the Living has been completely swept up in it and yet at no point does the film feel manipulative, at no point does it feel like it's trying to wring emotions out of you. On the contrary, what it's trying to do is to address its story seriously. It's adapted from a book and indeed the adaptation won it a Caesar nomination. There was a brilliant interview with the director by my colleague Wendy Ide in The Observer in which the director said the big challenge was to find a balance between the major story, between donation and transplant, and the way I want the film to truant itself, to meander a little. It was really hard to write, to direct and to edit, and to the very last moment of the edit, I didn't know if it was working. Now, that sense of the film meandering, of it having a central story, but having the bravery to go off elsewhere, to look at life in all its kaleidoscopic complexity, is really the thing that makes it such a wonderful movie. And is really the thing that means that you can't say it's an organ transplant movie. It's not. Yes, that is part of the story. But it's so much more than that. If you've got a chance to see it in the cinema, then wonderful, because it has extraordinary visuals. I mean, the surfing sequences alone are something which really take you out of yourself to another realm. But if you haven't seen it, please do check it out on Blu-ray and DVD. It is really remarkable. It's called Heal the Living, and believe me, it's one of my favourite films of this year.